Let's move on to the, the big question here, and it's, it's a mess if you had your draft before the news yesterday about Jonathan Taylor. I'm talking specifically about me who took him in the third <laughs> round. Uh, the, oh, the, the no panic text you sent yesterday. I, I mean, well, I, I asked you at first, and you said, yeah, I'm dropping him at least to round four. And then you sent me a text like I'm out. maybe five <laughs> minutes later that you're out on Jonathan Taylor. As I was processing it, yes. So where do you take him now? Round seven at the earliest. I'd prefer to get him in round eight, Chris. It's just, it's bad. You know, I mean, we, we may not see him for the majority of the season. You know, you're not going to get him for four weeks. He may come back and say, you know what, I'm not playing until the end of the year just to get his games accrued to count for the season. Or he may say, you know what, just, I'm out. Sorry, Jim Irsay. Right. You know, you don't, want, you don't want to pay me. You know, we're, we'll, we'll deal with this again. And I'm not going to help your young quarterback. I'm not going to help your team. And so it's a lottery ticket if he plays after week four and you get that type of production. So you'll be okay then. But... At this point, there's just so much risk. And who knows, Heath, is the ankle really that much of a problem? That's that why he's still on the pup list, that he can't play on the ankle? So there's just too much risk involved for me. So I would prefer not to draft on the Taylor unless it's just falling to the right spot. Yeah, it's, it's round eight for me as well. But I could offer, like, the, the positive side, and somebody mentioned this the other day. Like, Le'Veon Bell was suspended in 2016 for the first three games of the season. We were dropping him a little bit in the rankings, dropping him a little bit in the rankings. And all he did after he came back was average, like, 140 yards per game. Jonathan mm -hmm. Taylor is still one of the most talented running backs. If he did show up week five and he was just Jonathan Taylor the rest of the season, I'm not so, so for, sure he's that far from worthy of a third-round pick. The problem is that right now we have to account for what Jamie said. He might not play. Right. He might, he might show up and play two games and not play anymore. So there's too much risk to draft him at that. But I think there's still the upside. If somebody drafted him in round three, round four, round three probably, don't panic. Don't go panic, sell him, because it's possible you stash him on the pup list in four weeks from now, he's Jonathan Taylor again. All right.